it's honestly really interesting uh, with tiny rogues to me, where I, I find that sometimes with roguelike games and myself, uh, I have a little bit of, I don't know, this this like love-hate relationship with, with long roguelikes, where after 10 episodes, I, I start to find myself disliking the game more than I like the game. Um, just because you uncover more and more about it, and then you, you kind of start to see some more of the flaws. Tiny Rogues is doing like the exact opposite <laughs> for me. Uh, the more that I play this game, the more that I think it's brilliant. Um, and it makes me just crave sitting down and recording it, which is a it's a win-win for, I think, all of us. Um, last episode, you gotta go watch if you missed it. We basically exploited a, not bug in Tiny Rogues, but a, a feature that was unbalanced. <laughs> and it's worth a look. Um, I believe by the time this video comes out, it's probably patched already. Um, which is why I'm going to actually take off the scarf <laughs> for today. Uh, let's try something else, right? I, I think that there may be value in... Let, let's do this, right? A unique mana potion that grants 15% mana drain refund that lasts forever. Um, we're going to be running the, the sorcerer today because there is an unlock involving the sorcerer. Uh, we also would like to get 40 intelligence. There's a chance that we could do both of these in this episode uh, and unlock the wizard and the necromancer which i think would be super cool uh, i do have a, a point to spend in like obviously we're not going to take the revive because at this point it's it's primarily just stubbornness um weapons of the same weapon class that you started with are more common i think this is a lot of fun um because it shoehorns us into a build for that character brother what the frick is this legendary weapons are less common <laughs> Oh, but you, you, I understand. You need this to go to these. Dude, that's really interesting. That's such a fun idea. Equipment items that grant hearts are more common. Equipment items that grant stamina are more, more common. I, I don't think any of those are fun. Um, you guys continue to tell me to go down to this, right? Which I think is a really good idea. Defeating a floor without getting hit makes the boss offer plus one reward. Um, and I think that that's, that's really cool. So we'll do this, which gains us a, a suppression against the, the first three boss fights. That's fine, right? It's completely fine. And then defeating a boss without getting hit grants you a 25% magic find for the reward selection, which increases your chance of getting uh, higher quality things and also set bonuses. I actually think this is a really awesome path, and you guys have continued to tell me that over and over. We're playing on Cinders now, by the way. Um... I'm gonna play on Cinder 2, which is bosses have less health and armor in the first phase, but more in the second, which I think is terrifying. Uh, and my starting weapon has a negative enchantment. Um, I don't even know why I'm playing on Cinders. I haven't proven to you that I am capable of doing this. Uh, but who knows, maybe it'll be fun. <laughs> maybe it'll be fun. Send me in. Give me a key. Dude, having no resources to start, like, kinda blows, but... That's okay. That is fine, to be honest. Do I like my weapon? I think I like my weapon. It's god-awful, which is horrible, but that's okay. Um, we're popping this, which gives us that mana drain forever, and then just start cranking the intelligence. Th this run is going to be a mana run. There's, there's no doubt about that inside of my brain. So just shoehorn yourself into it uh, immediately and do everything you can to, to make it happen. I know our damage says god awful. I'm gonna tell you, I, I don't think it's that bad. <laughs> I think it's actually completely fine. Do I want dice? No. I'm gonna happily take some, some simple rewards here. And I know that you guys are gonna tell me that Tyler, you gotta, you gotta be careful about your, your mana drain. Because you're going to do less damage the lower your mana is. And I agree with you completely, but here's something that you got to keep in mind. Not firing at all is going to do even less damage <laughs> than me waiting to fire. So I'm probably going to just continue to hold down my, my button. I would love to come in here, but unfortunately I do not have a bomb. So my, my lucky broccoli falls by the wayside a little bit. And that's okay. That's okay. Good mana star action, little key action, a random blessing. I'm gonna tell you I would prefer some bombs since we've already gotten screwed over once. And I'm feeling good. 
I, I really am. I think that last episode was a was an eye opener for me, and I know that we, I mean, look, we we abused, we abused things that I, I probably should not have abused, and then posted on YouTube. I was a bad boy, okay, very bad boy, and I should get shot on sight. Um, however, what I think that it provided to me was we we learned a lot in the end game of the last episode. Um, basically meaning that. We, we learned how we can abuse two weapons being in our hand at the same time. Which is a... It's a really, uh... I, don't, I think it's like a Tiny Rogues class, you know, level 200 class, right? It, to, to utilize two weapons at the same time during your fights. I think it's hard to do. Now, I think it's going to be something that is way harder to do when you're not running like two of the the same similar weapon but it's the ability to inflict numerous status effects onto your your enemy that you're fighting that makes it so much better right so there's there's a lot of interesting things our damage is god awful <laughs> this is this is freaking miserable dude are you seeing the the tiny amount of damage right now holy frick is it bad it's not like there. I mean, I could sit to wait for the mana to regen. I suppose we're we're, we're probably in like super hell with, with the the mana. Okay, I'll be I'll be more cautious about <laughs> about my mana in the future. We're gonna want to basically spend on a million mana stars on this run. Set item a gold item. Um, increases magic damage. Kind of good too. Plus one heart. Plus one mana. Plus one stam. It seems like really good to be honest. Chance for range attacks to repeat? Don't care. Um, I'll take this. I think it's good, honestly. Uh, I know that this is a, a decent starter cloak, but you're you're never gonna run your starter cloak forever, so just just don't worry about it, right? <laughs> just don't worry about it. I don't care about the beef. We're we're not running. Well, I suppose equip load would probably be useful, but I don't really want the curse on this one. Let, let's try to limit the amount that we're we're cursing ourselves right out the get-go. On this floor, you need to prioritize a better weapon. We, we can't run this god-awful boy uh, for, for really much longer on this run, or we are going to uh, possibly just fall into a state of, of maniacal chaos. Flare specs increases fire damage. Sure, now give me a fire weapon. It's the Arc Staff. Do got some potent SMGs. I'm actually running like three decks right now, but th this run is going to be uh, a a uh, magic run. So just just switch to the arc staff. Um, it seems like super fun. <laughs> seems super duper enjoyable, and I'm already having a good time. Give me a little lightning bonus right here. On a tally of five attacks with a magic weapon, repeat. This seems completely fine. 100% increased stats granted by mana to mana draining weapons, also good. On draining an accumulated amount of 0.5 mana, trigger unpredictable sparks dealing magic damage. I think all three of these rock, for the record. I think this is the best. Repeated attacks deal 25% less damage. Maybe that's not that good. I think this is, this is really good, actually. Um... It's just a lot more, it's a lot more, <laughs> right? It's just a lot more. Um, but this, if we could get lightning going, this could be a lot of fun. I'm going to take this. Uh, maybe it's correct, maybe it's not. And I'll, I'll uh, accept it as such. Can't afford. I will absolutely take five of those. I will add to it for two souls. That is a no-brainer. Absolute no-brainer. Okay. This is good. Now you get a little beef. We, we do still need to make sure that we are upping our equipment load. That's a pretty important thing. I don't need a tavern with, with 10 gold and also my health being fine. Something that we, we tend to forget about at times is that the tavern can do a refill on our flasks and our HP for, for 10 gold, which is obviously like crazy good. So we'll keep that in mind as as time goes on. Dude, the Arc Staff is legitimately fantastic. For an uncommon weapon, this thing is going crazy. Now, these are bad. I re-roll ya. Um, I will take Galovas. A little, a little glovey action. 
and we've got resources. We've got we, we're really just kind of chilling right now. I, I have I have very little fear about this run. That was a frick ton of damage that came out of that shot, dude. Holy crap. Okay. Re refill my mana, keep it going. Refill my mana, keep it going. I love the, the mana stars doing mana star things. I mean, that's two floors flawless. I don't want to, you know, jump the gun and hold the parade, but feeling pretty good about our, our stuff right now. These are thief gloves? Is that? Yeah, thief gloves. Grants plus five decks. I think they're fine. Um, I think that just increasing my magic damage by 10% is better than the thief gloves. I'm sorry. Uh, we're going to end up with better things, and plus five decks is not changing my my current build to a degree large enough to matter. How do I, oh, I spent two souls? That makes sense. <laughs> it's like how the hell do I eighteen? Um. Okay. Do you want the decks or do you want a, an item stash? I think that this is one of those very simple scenarios that that some of you have told me about, where it is Tyler. You need to, when possible, uh, just prioritize your your core stats. You're gonna have a good time if you prioritize your core stats. Gives us a, a lot of flexibility in uh, how we can can build. I mean, dude, we're hitting for for 1,400 right now on some of these. It's ridiculously good. Uh, let's interact with this. Pluck the strange blueberry, and and monkeys steal the others, <laughs> which is super cute. <laughs> I enjoyed it a lot. What is this? Five stacks of intelligence growth on pickup ridiculously good <laughs> okay now give me a little bit of decks they're, they're obsessed with giving me decks today and i don't mind okay i'm not i'm not yelling at the decks growth because it, it's it's still it's still great I, I i love having extra decks this attack speed going up it's beautiful we're, we're getting the the level ups going arcane familiar beautiful i mean they're really good each point of mana additionally grants more top end damage. It's also good. <laughs> this is fun too. Uh, and we we technically have an increase to fire damage right now. So there is a synergy there. Um, could end up with the flare mantle, but I, I, I don't really think we're going to end up doing that, which means I don't want to kind of shoehorn us into this. Um, the top end damage... I mean, here, here's the thing, right? I think this is this is the best available option. I think this is good. But with lightning right now, your, your damage is, is chaotic, right? There's no... If we had a magic damage that was like two values that were close, I think that this is fantastic. I'm going to take the Arcane Familiar, which is in turn going to... I'm going to actually re-roll this. Um... I'll take the key. That's fine. I, I think that you, you gain more from... Hey, where's my where's my Arcane Familiar? <laughs> did, didn't... Did I... Oh, it, he's there. He's, he's just vibing. I didn't see his ass. Okay. This is good because now your mana drain is lower, which keeps our damage up for longer, right? Like, look, look at the mana drain now. I'm able to hold down and melt the entire room way, way faster. So, whetstone, armor, I think you maybe gave me like a bomb or something. That's fine, right? That's fine. Golden chest. We don't have much money. Um, I would love if the game would provide me with money in this chest. It's more bombs. It's also a power shard. Okay, super worth. Five souls is great. A blood altar could be, could be anything. The five souls would allow me to get an additional mana star, though. Because we would be able to uh, to purchase that at next available opportunity, which I think is... I think that that value is, is much higher. So, a set item or body armor. I'm gonna tell you... You know what? Just give me the set item. Uh, it could be anything, right? And I think that that's fine. Why is there a door uh, above this above this boss room. <laughs> am, I, am I losing my mind that there has not been doors above the boss rooms before? We are technically in a, in a new uh, world for, for tiny rogues, so this could be something new that we don't know about. 
and I'm I'm terrified as a result of it. You you just chilling over there like a, a door? Oh my god, it's actually the fire mantle. <laughs> okay. Um oh dude, that's real good. Grants two mana stars. Each point of mana additionally grants 45% more damage over time. Brother, these are all amazing right now. Uh, unfortunately, this is a two-hand staff. Two mana stars is... It's hot, right? It's hot, but I think this is better. I still can't believe you just gave me the set bonus. I don't have any flame, though. Burn duration reduced by three seconds, but burn deals more. I, I hate that I'm taking... <laughs> it's really hard, actually. The problem is, the armor of favor is, like, really great, right? This is fantastic. And it's a lower equip load. So we would lose a stem, we'd lose a heart. Do we really care since our, our, our hearts are actually very good right now? Maybe this is better. I think that offhand is good, but I'm running a two-handed weapon, so we, we play in the now. What the frick is the law shop, dude? Okay. Hello. I welcome you, traveler. I come from the Shadow Plains. Are you interested in my wares? Shadows have been quieter lately? Okay. All souls you spend here whisper directly back into the shadows. Okay. Um, this is plus one lawful. This is plus one lawful. And this is plus one lawful. So we need Lawful in order to go past the door at the end. So I'm basically sacrificing my ability. Yeah, I understand. We're sacrificing our ability to get bonuses from the campfire in order to make it further in the game. You're, you're, a, you're a little fool, let me tell you. You're a little fool. We don't care about range damage. I, I really don't care about movement speed. I guess I'll take this and let it be known. I freaking hate it, okay? I hate it. <laughs> Shoehorning me into making decisions I don't want to make? You're a... You're a damn fool. Okay. Still fine. I'm not gonna complain. We, we are in good shape, right? We're in good shape. Now, it's gonna take uh, an attune here for us to, to get that, that mana cloak good. Now we're good. You take a little fish and chips. This is actually a, a beautiful situation for us. Uh, as now we get a little uh, equip load increase as well 10 to 15 gold you got a trap door in this room love me a trap door give me my my keys what are you a little a little plus two int okay it's it's kind of going crazy man we we've got a we've got a beautiful uh beautiful run going here very few complaints from me Give me a little level up, that's another plus two intelligence. That intelligence growth from that berry went crazy. Each point of intelligence additionally grants 2.5 increased effect of buffs and aura radius. Um, it's great, right? Grants you an aura that inflicts burn and debuffs enemies to take fire damage from you and your companions. This is wildly good. Because this is now increasing my fire damage. Yeah, it's, it's nice. It's real nice. This is going to be a reroll for me because I really don't care about the potions. Although, you know what? I'm going to take the potions. We, we got inventory space. And one of the like core trait bonuses of uh, running intelligence is to get permanent potion effects. So maybe I can, can mess around here, hold on to these potions, and then we end up with some insane benefits in the nearby future. Dude, I got too many bombs. I, I was really hoping for, for not bombs from, from that, but it's fine. Drops gold when bombed. Better than the 10 to 15 gold because I get to use a bomb. Hopefully it's going to be more than uh, 10 to 15 gold. So we're at 24. How much gold you got? That was so much better. That was 20 gold. Okay, lovely. Very, very good. Now, this is it's so interesting, because now I would maybe consider with the burn radius, but I, I think you take the epic item. Okay. There's a chance we get another uh, lawful shop here. I, I don't know when these uh, when they they come in or not. That's a bad hit. You, you got me. That's our first bit of damage taken on this run. Floor 4 being our first damage. I, I honestly feel... I feel pretty dang good 
about it. I feel very good about it. So give me my set item, 33 souls. Uh, no lawful Thor here, so I'm I'm buying a mana star. <laughs> Just preparing you now. Um, and this is during combat, periodically shoot a Kazar beam at the nearest enemy, dealing 813 to 1057 radiant damage. Seems very good. Each point of intelligence additionally grants an increased critical hit multiplier. I have a 27% critical hit chance, dude. This is really good. <laughs> Uh, like, really, really good. Um, that could end up scaling very high with us. Increased stats granted by mana. Th who knows? This might kill our run for a little bit, but I think that maybe the, the crits we're going to get are going to make that much better. We got a key from our key to success. We love that for me. Um, give me another mana star. Brings us up to five mana stars, which is lovely. I'm going to take another random potion. This is going to so work, and you're going to be so pissed when it works, and I'm, I'm just going to walk out with uh, a million stacks of million stacks of uh, potion buffs. We're, we're going to get the, the nice, little, nice little boyo here. I am going to spend the key to get a rare weapon, though. The legendary Villet Horn increases damage on it. Pretty good. I mean, it's a lot of damage, man, for sure. Throwing knives, sniper rifle. I mean, that sounds very fun, but I mean, I'm definitely gonna take this. Let, let's, uh, it's also a, a plus two already. So give me, drop this for right now. Take, take the villet uh, horn. Probably vile thorn. <laughs> not, not villet horn. Um, <laughs> This actually seems horrible. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't read. Y'all should know this by now that I can't read. Dude, this this weapon is goaded. Holy frick, it's good. Okay. The Vila Torn goes crazy. And and now, could we swap between our, our weapons from time to time? We could, but why would I when Vila Torn is, um, it's like ridiculously strong, right? And then it continues to do damage to enemies while it sits on the the ground, which is equally fantastic. So, I, here's the thing: I'm, I'm in no way, shape, or form was I committed to the uh, the staff that we have. Uh, the staff, uh, it's honestly like who cares about it? Um, we have nothing doing lightning damage. Give me, give me potion effects are permanent. You coward! Do it. <laughs> I'm. It just feels good. It just feels good. Okay. So, Anger, we have increased our attack speed by 10% now. Um, stamina, I get my stamina back faster, and now we can basically shoehorn our way uh, through... This is a two-handed weapon, to be fair, but we can now shoehorn our way through um, getting potions here, there, and everywhere, and it benefits me a lot. Let's get some summons, too. Uh, brother, what the frick? The damage is absolutely nuts. How, how did the damage get so good? Did, did you watch us obliterate this guy? Dude, this thing is it's, it's really good. <laughs> it's, it's like other otherworldly levels of good. So, legendary zombie, zombie. Uh, don't really care about the zombies. Um, critical hit multiplier, yeah, to be honest with you, because, yeah, honestly, absolutely, give me, give me my two spider bros, because now our critical hit multiplier is through the roof, uh, that's a plus 50 to my critical hit multiplier, so we are at, um, just for curiosity's sake, 277% critical hit multiplier, with a 32% chance to crit. I'll let you do the math on why that uh, freaking rocks for us. Because you're going to watch us obliterate enemies right now. It's it's real good. Now, I feel over-encumbered. Um, I'm not. I'm not even close, to be honest. So that's even better. Give me more gold. The, the, the Vilet Horn, we will absolutely end up um, upgrading this to level 3. Uh, we could probably do it right now, all things considered. I don't need a, another weapon. 
We, we could do it right now. I have the, the whetstone. Um, and we're definitely not going to swap to a melee weapon. Right? So this, this seems like a good idea. I will do a pawn shop, though. Um, random potion sounds amazing. So get rid of this. We're gonna get rid of this. Even though I, I do think that that was a good item. Uh, we're gonna get rid of this. And I can't do anything else. Give me the random potion. How the frick did I get cursed, man? I got a, I got a curse lad in here? When did I take any curse on this run? Inferno. Uh, okay. An Inferno orbital dealing fire damage is... It's a damn dream. So we could blacksmith and then upgrade uh, the Vila Torn. I just don't know if I care, right? I know this sounds bad. Um, I'd rather have this obsidian chest, which could be anything. It could even be a... Uh, a... Uh, whetstone? <laughs> the star hat. I'm picking up a mana star. Three stars drop from the sky on the nearest enemy. Okay, I mean... It's probably, look, it's probably the correct decision for our run. Um, but I'm, I'm going to just neglect it for right now. And pretend that there's better options for me. Such as the fact of I'm doing slightly more damage to, to burn right now. Dude, it's a no-brainer. I should be putting that on. I should put that on. Okay, um, charm me. I'm good with this. Uh, we have a, a lawful shop, and I'm I'm well prepared, dude. It's it's the damage is it's frankly too good. It's it's too good. The the thing is, it's hitting multiple times when the dude's standing still is part of it, and then we get the burn on, and then the burn's ticking. Um, I suppose this is not doing much anymore, but it's still ticking, and it's pretty good. This is mana related. Grants a mana star? I mean, I'd love it. I really would. That sounds fantastic. Six mana stars for Tyler. Each mana star? Um... I got- I got six mana. Which I- I want to say each mana star does... something. <laughs> like, there's value in- like, the more mana you have... I did take a curse at some point. The more mana you have, the more, um... damage you deal. I mean, come on, right? Seems easy. On level up, you a soul heart. Also sounds fun, um, but I'll just take another bit of intelligence. I mean, you might as well take both, right? Now I'm lawful as frick. I'm actually out of these. Um, we don't need you anymore. Let's let's put you on instead. We'll pick you up, sell your ass in the future. Um, I'm lawful as hell. Maybe maybe this is the run that we we get a little get a little freaky with the law. <laughs> Phrasing, like, definitely required on that one. Um, but we're, we're gonna get a little freaky with the law. I'm, I'm fine with that. There's mana stars falling from the sky. That makes sense to me. Give me a treasure rock. I'm, I'm gonna treasure rock your world right now. I actually love the idea. You could give me treasure rocks all the time right now. I'd be super pleased. Cat ears, unfortunately, I'm not quite owo enough for that one. Um... Maybe in the future I will be OO enough to pick the cat ears. A luck potion. Grants plus one luck. Forever. Thank you. And then, I mean, look, I love the treasure rocks, but I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna not take uh, an intelligence upgrade, ladies and gentlemen. You think I've lost my mind? Don't answer that, actually. Uh, another big buff incoming. I'm prepared. Critical hits with melee and range. Nope. Not it. Um, each point grants increased effect to my, my thingy. That seems fantastic. Okay. I, I will take you. Look at the range on this. Holy frick, it takes up the entire screen. <laughs> okay, give me more intelligence. Now, every time I pick up more intelligence, that sucker is growing even more. <laughs> it's taking up the entire box. Okay. It's amazing. I love the idea of getting armor, but I'm not going to do it. The Blizzard Scroll. Nope, not good enough. Plus one evade, not good enough. Plus two stam, not good. These are all horrible. Don't need them, goodbye. Um, you are going to think I've lost my mind, and I'm not going to upgrade the Vila Torn to, to plus three. I'm going to take a random potion. Because the potions, they're, they're doing a lot. Another Inferno potion is not doing anything, but it's, it's okay. I promise you I have been looking for secret rooms. I don't believe there has been one. Um, you can... Tell me I'm wrong. 
in the future. Not right now. I'm busy. Um, Reroll me. Looking for gloves? Yeah, gloves sounds great. Some kind of wacky... Some kind of wacky... <laughs> Frick me, dude. It's so good. I mean, like, what are you supposed to do when your damage is this good? Do I go out and buy a lottery ticket? Like, what? what's the... what's the play? What do you got for me? A little... a little rare glove? A little rare glove. Mana star buff effect additionally grants 49% chance for magic attacks to repeat. I technically have a mana star buff effect because of this, right? Is that an accurate assessment? I have no clue. It's probably the correct decision regardless. I'll take it. Um, hopefully that's giving me a benefit that I can feel on the next floor, but it's going to be tough to feel any positive effect because we're, we're so positive. <laughs> look at, look at this. <laughs> How much intel I got? A freaking uh, trillion intelligence, 38 intelligence. Okay, we have unlocked the necromancer class after this floor. Um, for getting or no, the the other class, whatever the one was that required 40 intelligence, we we did it. Okay, so happy days for me. New get we get a new character to mess around with in the next episode. Uh, resin is not useful. Frankly, I don't care about a set bonus either. I'm gonna re-roll these. I would freaking love this. That that sounds amazing. An extra heart for basically doing nothing with my life. It's amazing. More dice is better than the gold that I'm not spending on this run. Keep it going. Keep it going. A lot of dice. Meat shank. It's it's stats, okay. And I will I will never ever complain about stats. We're also, our, our attack speed is starting to increase quite a lot, too. So is it time for, for a tavern visit? Nope. <laughs> nope, because I'm a little freak. I, I love keys too much. And I'm, I'm excited for the potential of this key unlocking a black market right here. Not a black market, but it is a plus one stat. I'm at max level on floor, like, seven, dude. Okay, explosion damage inflicts burn, we don't care. Non-triggered lucky hits, we don't care. I'm meteoring. Fire damage, keep it going. I'm picking up a mana star, three meteors drop from the sky. I think it's I think it's okay. I really do. I could re-roll ya. I think the meteors are fine. I'm gonna re-roll you though. On kill and on combat start. Oh dude, what the frick? Poison damage inflicts fragility. <laughs> That's insanely good. 100% increased stats from intelligence is also wild. It's wild. Um, this is amazing because we're, we're basically committing to this weapon. So at this point, since we're committing to this weapon, Violet Horn goes to, to level level 3. Okay. Then give me my my more more gold that obviously I'm, I'm doing a lot with. More Meat Shank is... is not necessary like we're, we're officially we're officially way too buffed up right now do i want another summon i can't really do anything with a summon i actually think this is this is fair game to re-roll this boots is lovely boots is absolutely lovely um and i am prepared to become even more lawful because we're we we still have um <laughs> It's obliteration, chat, okay? It's obliteration. I'm prepared to spend souls on something to get my fourth lawful. What are you? More gloves? On kill, gain berserk? Don't care. On dash, kick the nearest enemy? We can take it. It's, it's not incredible, but it's fine. Plus one armor, plus one mana star. On our, our match, on draining mana, immediately refund the drained mana. I would lose a mana star in the meantime, but I would gain an armor. Or I can just, like, take more damage, in, in a sense. We're probably going to get better boots. Dude, I'm actually going to take this. Um, I'm not putting it on yet, but I'm going to chill. Oh, you locked my freaking shop. <laughs> Brother, I can't get in there. So yes, I'd like to proceed. Sorry. Why'd, why'd you lock my shop, you little freak? Okay, it's floor nine. 
Just keep it going. Two to three random consumables, I'm gonna tell you. I, I struggle with that I don't think those consumables are gonna do anything for me. We are critting for ungodly amounts right now. Two keys is amazing. Now, an epic weapon, don't get it twisted. Uh, I wanna, you, you, you can at least look, right? Demon Scythe one, but it's crappy. It's not good enough. This seems very good. Um, dude, it seems insanely good. This also seems insanely good. Give me this, the, the Ex Mortis. We're gonna at least try it in this next room. Um, look, it's solid. I'm not gonna deny that, okay? It's, it's completely solid. I don't think we need it, but it's, it's solid. Potion effects, we love it. Oh, they just added evil to me though, dude. <laughs> okay, I mean, I, I hate the fact that I got the evil there. Um, upgrade my book to max. Grant me an XP that does nothing. Is there anything that gives me lawful in here? Probably not, huh? Like even, even buying these is not a great play. Legal Wisp Wand. The illegal kazoo. Okay, sell this. Sell this. Sell. Yeah, we can sell those at this point. Um, we can sell this. Okay, 150 money. Um, in terms of our, can I see my my lawfulness morality? I'm I'm neutral, but I'm lawful. I'm I'm a lawful neutral. Honestly, that's not necessarily inaccurate in real life. Do I need any of these fish bones power? I mean, I'll, I'll use it eventually. Lightning damage we don't care about. I leave. Uh, then I don't need the pawn shop. I'll take the, the random potion. I mean, dude, this weapon is good. I'm, I'm not going to deny that. It's completely decent. It's absolutely completely decent. Um, we just got a... I don't even know what the hell I got. <laughs> I got too many potion effects, brother. Okay. Uh, we don't need a lock chest. I think this is reroll city. A lock chest containing multiple potions. That seems pretty good, for sure. Okay. I mean, I'm gonna tell you, I think that our, our Vila Torn is still better. Agility potion is a new one. We already have that one, to be fair. Blacksmith is is not needed. Bottles of booze, set item. I don't need curse. Just keep giving me, keep giving me random potions, brother. Right, let, let's let's keep this train going. It's another anger potion. I don't think these stack. Um, but that that's fine, right? I don't need it to stack. Increases poison and toxic duration. These are not good enough. Um. This was not a mimic, huh? I don't. Re I, I really don't need a, a weapon here. Um, unicorn spear is is not good enough for me. I'll take the guaranteed epic. Let's let's send it. I think that you you abuse. If it's an enemy that just stands still, man, you you abuse the thorn. But when they start moving, um. <laughs> It's just strong. <laughs> it's just strong, right? There's no, there's no if ands or buts around it. It's just, it's just real good. It's really good. Um, that's the talisman corruption boy. No, this is pain loop. Adds your invincibility. I don't care about this at all. Um, add haste whenever you make it rain. Don't care. Lucky hits roll an additional time. Don't care. These are all horrible. I'll sell this in the future. Sorry if you like any of those items. I don't. I think they're bad. Um, floor ten. Quick run, too. We're, we're moving along on this one. Um, cannot do this. Granting 10 souls does seem fun. So I'll, I'll take it. I suppose I probably should go for set items on this run, though. Because we want to try to get that meteor uh, set bonus. So there, there's value in going for, for set bonuses right now. Another 10 souls. Okay. I mean, more mana stars, again, is just more value that we add to our run. I'll take another key. There's got to be some way for me to get more uh, more morality at some point. 
four to five bombs uh, is just not needed in the slightest. Even though we've already leveled up, the extra intelligence still scales us, man. So we're we're fine with it. This is a reroll. Goodbye. Multiple potions is fine. Do I have traits that I don't care about? Um, I I probably don't need this familiar, although it's probably doing a lot, and I just don't realize it. I think that we keep all these. So sure, give me give me the potion chest. I I don't even know what potions. I still, like, have, don't have, right? Stamina, mana, I believe I have both of those. I will definitely do every random event. Um, that was a lot of souls, dude. What the frick? I got 73 souls right now. That's an alarming number of souls. Okay, meteor thing? Halloween cape. Nope, not good enough. One final rest. This is, this is really tough because I feel like I, I absolutely should spend for, for mana stars here. Like, while I, I have it, I think that having extra souls at the end is better, but imagine me just obliterating death right here because I'm, I'm cracked out on mana stars. I mean, it just feels bad for, for this guy. Um, imagine being the pseudo final boss and then you get uh, absolutely melted by a dude shoving uh, thorns at you. Okay, you got me. It was, it was a good try. Doesn't he typically do this attack in the first wave, man? And I, <laughs> I beat him too quick. <laughs> feels good, to be honest. We're moving right along for sure. I'm ready for a better charm. What do you got? Plus one flask. Don't really care. Next primary attack, don't care. Damaging hits that deal body damage grant a Kai boost. Damaging hits that deal body damage. This is poison damage. This is thrusting damage. Thrusting damage is physical damage, which is maybe body damage. I don't freaking know. Um, I'm gonna take these. I don't think that they're better than what we have. I still don't have boots, which is pretty wild. At some point, I'm probably gonna want to get some boots. But we're not there yet. Bowl is empty. Still don't know what the frick these do. Um, so, future future is uh, is now. Send me into the Shadow Plains. I am prepared and ready for greatness. Um, critical hit multiplier? Yeah. Yeah, that seems, that seems fine. That seems completely fine. Now this floor is hard. Let's, let's not, let's not get too overconfident with ourselves. Um, it's gonna, gonna be a tricky boy. Plus one, the highest attribute is just more, uh, more, more good stuff. And I'm telling you, we're, we're still Vila Torning. There, there's no reason, eh, give me the key. There's no reason to use our other weapon unless we then need uh, a little bit of range. Random potion, come on, man. Do we really need another potion? I, I think that I would, I would rather have this. I think I have every potion in the books, man. So it's, it's unnecessary. Increase my attack speed by 2.5%. These are just small buffs here and there. We, we enjoy small buffs. I think I'm hitting for 13,000, by the way. Which is quite a lot. I thought I saw a secret room, dude. Thought I was brilliant for once in my life. Crushing hit chance with two-handed weapons. Um... Okay, hold on. <laughs> that would make this thing... Always do... 5,000 damage a play. Uh, this is ridiculously good, too. 10 attacks per second. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, we gotta... That would make this do 7,000 attacks... Uh, damage per second. And this gives me lawful. Okay. It's a must-buy. This, we don't have any armor, so who cares? This goes on. We lose a little bit of this. Then we run the Tome from here on out. And I, I think that this is a, a better play. It's going to... 
The damage is gonna decrease a little on this room, and then like next room, I think it's about to go crazy. Maybe I will be incorrect, but trust the process right now. Popping you. Give me give me more of this. I mean, it's decent. I think that I, I ended up losing max damage capabilities, though. I don't know. Did, did this really affect much? I don't know. <laughs> it's fine, I think. We'll be okay. This would allow an offhand, though, so that's an idea. Okay. Continue me. Um, might be difficult. Might be difficult. I find myself gravitating towards using the the thorn, so I'm going to I'm going to still still do exactly that. Um, this this guy is is melted. I mean, he's he's melted. Really hard to complain about that. Um, I think that we're we're absolutely just just beelining towards a, a strong finish here. Yeah, the the thorn is still better. I thought that maybe that that change was going to, to change that for me, but nope. <laughs> okay, um, that was easy. <laughs> Give me a good offhand. Maybe maybe this offhand makes the the book better. It is going to be an epic offhand. Um, Talisman increases radiant and dark damage. This is not radiant damage, so who cares? Um, I'll still put it on because it's fine. And then I'll leave. So, I am lawful. So get ready. Um, one, two, many souls. And I'm, I'm lawful, brother. Send me in. I'm ready. Worthy, you may proceed. He's done it. I'm in. <laughs> okay, what, what comes next? Floor 12? Okay, the Shadow Plains 2. Of course. The only logical, uh, conclusion. This is a golden broccoli. What is this thing, man? Okay. Things are- things are getting a little wacky in here. But fortunately, I still have many soul hearts, uh, because... Not sure if you know this. I'm kind of goaded at- at tiny robes. We- we went from me being trash at this game to me being great at the game in, like, 24 hours. Ooh, there's a little teleport portal. That will definitely mess me up in the future. Okay. Goodbye to all of my my friends and lovers in this room. Y'all can suck it. Give me one of these. Does not affect me. Increases damage with non-crits, brother. We crit in like 24/7 right now. What what is my my crit chance? Yeah, 76%. That's a, that's a lot of crit. It's <laughs> an alarming amount of crit. So I I feel pretty good about this. And then, dude, the poison and the burn goes goes nuts. Okay, we, we could still end up with our uh, our bonus. What are you guys doing? There's some funky lads in this room, doing doing some some real wacky things. Give me my galaxy suit. Holy frick, we got it. <laughs> okay, um, I'll be putting you on now. It's gonna take a room to a tune, but that's fine. Increase my attack speed. It's not often that you. Uh, become Buzz Lightyear in the Shadow Plains 2. But alas, here I am. Um, I'm attuned, I'm ready to go, keep sending it. Now, basically, our, our mana is going to... We we can hold on to it forever, is a, a big part of this. It's, it's just going to... I can, I can spam forever and we're gonna be at five stars. Or I'd, we're at like eight stars, but same same difference. Inferno potion. I think I got like eight of these at this point. Um, Fishbone me. I completely forgot about that, but it's a good time to use it. Overcome one final obstacle before ascending to the throne. Hello, death. Your kind. Your kind is a plague. Humans never satisfied. You trespass sacred grounds. You disrupt nature's peace. You break the cycle of life and death. You serve a false god. Do you really think they won't betray you? I have seen many fools, but none as dangerous as you. Seems upon me to stop you. Our little dance ends here. You're insignificant. You're nothing. Me when my chat gives me uh, the wrong advice in a video game. Okay. Okay, Death, you're, you're doing some, some attacks for sure. 
feels like I should be concerned at some point. Ah, but not yet. You are nothing but a puppet. You're infect infected with hunger. Hunger for power, for treasure, for knowledge. I love that I'm collecting mana stars during this, but it must take an end. The balance cannot be disturbed further. Time for one final act of mercy. I will relieve you from your quest. This is it. This is the end. Okay, I'm doing 61,000 damage. Ah, uh, you're just bad, brother. <laughs> I'm sorry that I was too good on this run, chat. Um, I feel like it would have been more exciting to have a much harder fight against him. <laughs> okay, one of three keys required to open the sealed gate at the abyss. Oh, I gotta do this crap three times. That's fair. Drop the unicorn spear. Give me the key. Why is this? Why are those little skulls glowing? They look a little wonky. Okay, hello. We welcome you. Nice to meet you. My liege bows. Incredible, we welcome you. Okay, my lord bows. I will not take a sip of Icor, no. That'll just kill me. Um, take a seat on the throne. Seems amazing, take seat your highness, take seat your highness, take seat your highness. Okay, yeah, yeah, I like this. I'll absolutely take a seat on the throne. He's kind of goaded, I've accomplished the impossible. You become the embodiment of death. A new master, yay! The new Keeper of Order, yay! Chosen by the Shadows, yay! We serve your highness, yay! Yeah, absolutely. A mortal no longer. Now ruling the Shadow Plains. Okay. Even the glory of becoming a god eventually fades into eternity. And then I'm just gonna die. <laughs> Death claims another. Fantastic. Okay. Um, I mean, dude, pretty much the most goaded run of all time, so that's pretty good. I have a feeling that that key is going to be in my inventory, thus uh, knocking out a key slot for me, or uh, a slot in my inventory, and then I'm going to have to bring that key all the way to the end. Achieving this world objective, unlock the gates to the high heavens and burning hells. Okay. Fantastic. That sounds good to me. Um, XP levels going through the roof. Cinder levels increasing as a result. Um, here we are, defeat the Guardian of the Burning Hells. Sure. Sounds like fun. Um, we'll do it in the next episode. I've unlocked the Wizard, who we can play as, uh, in the next episode. I thought I also would have unlocked the Necromancer. Can we take a look? I did. Where the frick are they? Am I, am I blind? Press tab to switch roster. Oh. <laughs> There's a whole nother ring, brother. Okay. Um... Here's the Necromancer. You and your companions deal increased damage per soul you have. That sounds fun as frick. That sounds like so enjoyable. And who's the wizard? You gain a mana star at level 2, 4, and 6. Okay, you can expect me to play as the Necromancer in the next episode because, uh, I mean, going to hell as a Necromancer seems like the greatest challenge of my life. Um, so thanks for watching. We're starting to get into the, the heat of tiny rogues. Appreciate all the support. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.